So we want to match this. Let's, this is pretty slick, I think. So we want to match, we want to get rid of this color because it doesn't match. We want to go through for all of that, right? Um, for each one of these items we want to go through. I'm just doing one of them for you. But uh, we want to get rid of this color. So here's the easy way to do it is you double click on that and then you go uh, click on this, select, and you see that eyedropper? You can just drag it over here and find some color on your website that you like. Uh, just any anything probably do, but let's say like that. Go click, go OK, it changes the color, go OK, and then see how it switched that out for you? Pretty sweet, huh? And then go save, and then you, uh, yeah, override everything, and uh, so then you do that for all these other ones too. Like, so here you go in here, that color is not going to fly for that, so you do the same thing. You right click, modify it, switch the color out however you want to, to whatever, you know you like. But let's take a look at how this looks in the, the browser now. So we go this, hit F12. Uh, we allow have to allow the block content which is allowing the JavaScript to run. And there we go. So we see now again we want to switch out these colors, right? <laughs> but once they're switched out to colors that you like, it'll look it'll match completely, right? But that's how you add a JavaScript menu box. Now, I did want to give this guy uh, props for letting us have his code, right? So, one of the things he asks, if we go back to his site, uh, let's see, what happened to him? JavaScript. Okay, if we come back to his site, he says, if you want to use the script on your page, please place a link to it at one of your pages. So, so he's just asking for a link back. So, um, so here's what we can do for him. What you can do is just on one of your other pages, like let's say if we go to um, the contact page down here, all you'd have to do is scroll down here somewhere on the bottom and uh, let's just, you know, down here on any page is the way I'm the reading that, is just put um, menu courtesy of JSA, right? And then uh, we do hyperlink to him, uh, search the web. We could search the web over here, right? And we go uh, JavaScript array. There he is down here. We highlight this copy it, right click, copy, go back over here, and there he is, go OK. And there, we got a link to, for on one of our pages giving him credit. Now if that seems like a little too much, you can always come over here, like highlight it, and then just make the font really small. But, you know, why not give the guy props, you know? That's the nice thing that he did. <laughs> So anyway, so anyway, you've got your JavaScript, you got your link back. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say is, then you have to, you know, when you do these uh, menus, then you've got to go in and add the hyperlinks, right? So uh, the hyperlinks. Let me show you where that would be. Is uh, here where it says, let's see, home, like this page here. Well, let's let's pick another one, a second page. Is uh, let's say download, right? So what you do is you highlight that. Or you can even highlight it down here, right? And then you right-click it, hyperlink, and then you, you link it to whatever page you want. So that's the, uh, well, we have it called download. But let's say we wanted to switch the name to, um, you know, whatever you wanted to switch it to. Let's say you wanted to call it About Me. So we come in here and just type in About. Let's save that. Okay, yes. Okay, so... Now it's the about page. Okay, so we go highlight it, come down here, right click, hyperlink, and then here's the about me page, right? Click, okay, and it, it'll fill in the, uh, the link for you, right? So it puts it in there for you automatically, right? So you go save, 
and yes and you would do that for every other page that you want to link to right but just make sure you do the links on the master page so let's go back to the default page close out by just taking a look at this and here it is let's allow block content and there we go so basically we took an expression web template and added uh, and I only did a link to the about page right so I should be able to click here and it take me to the about page right on the template but I'd have to do that for you know put in a link to all put in all the links change the colors but basically there's my JavaScript drop down box which you know some people seem to prefer over just this the basic CSS HTML it does take a little bit of time uh, to get the colors just how you like them and stuff like that but actually this box probably is this menu box is probably a lot nicer than the other the other ones so and then if I come over here to my contact page there's my link back to him right JavaScript array and you know do him a favor he did us a favor so anyway I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful and thanks again for watching and if you ever have any questions please email us or leave a comment okay thanks a lot bye